Welcome to the first video of 2022. Now, I'm about three weeks behind schedule on making this video. Two weeks? Two weeks behind schedule. Um, and it's partly because we got the unspeakable sickness on the 1st of January and put me behind on the schedule for making new videos. I looked back at the videos that I made last year and I actually made around 90 videos, 90 or 91 videos last year. Now only, I think 24 of those were actual public videos. The other 70 or 60 something were um, unlisted videos that I made for customers on how to do something in the software or website that we built. So I looked back and it's the first time I've ever looked back at the videos that I did the, for the year and said, okay, I'm going to see how many I did public videos. And in last year I did 24, which equals out to about two a month, which is not what happened. It was, um, several months where there was no video. And then one month, I think I did six or seven or eight. I don't know. So anyway, I wanted to look at it and say, okay, this year I want to make, um, try to make more videos than I made last year. So last year was 24. I was hoping for 36 this year. Um, that's going to be three a month. I think that's a, um, a number I can do. It'd be great if I did 48 videos. That would be one, kind of one a week. Um, 52 would kind of be one a week, I guess. But 48 would be four a month. And I think that would be a reasonable number of videos to actually do. But this video, I want to just talk really quickly about Webflow. I've had several people ask me um, in comments, emails, and even in person, do we use Webflow? And as we don't really use Webflow, some of the graphic designers um, that are UX guys that we work with, they use Webflow. They use Webflow to build out everything, the padding, the CSS, HTML, all that. And then they export it and send it to us. And from that export, then we can build that out into a website. Now, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talking about WordPress versus Webflow. And I've even had some people ask me about WordPress versus Webflow. Do you use Webflow or do you use WordPress? And there's not a is or of the other. It's not versus, you, it's not, you either use WordPress or you use Webflow. There's other avenues of building out websites, but you can use Webflow in conjunction with WordPress. So if you wanna build your own theme and you don't wanna build out the HTML and the CSS and all that, because quite honestly, CSS is tricky. You build everything and then you make it, you know, mobile version and you go, ah, crap. And you got to rebuild a bunch of stuff. So, or, or redo a bunch of the CSS. So building out in Webflow gives you the ability to set the padding set, whether it's a flex box or, you know, whether it's a grid, it gives you the ability to pick a navigation and, you know, put in the logo and put in all that stuff. And then you can publish it to a website and use Webflow as the, the builder. Now, eventually that's not going to work as well if you get into a bigger website. But you can use Webflow to build out the structure of the website, build it into a WordPress theme, and then use in conjunction with the Webflow export with WordPress to build a really, really large website. So that's the new series I wanna start this week is building, going into Webflow, exporting out the code and building a WordPress template based on the Webflow export to show you guys that you can use Webflow, export it out into a WordPress theme. It does take a little bit of work, but you can do it and it makes it a very nice looking website without having to reinvent the wheel of creating all that stuff yourself. Now, there's a lot of themes out there that pretty much do all that for you,
But if you want to build a custom website and you want to have the freedom to build whatever you want, Webflow gives that ability to you without having to know CSS, JavaScript, HTML, and all that. So the next video I'm gonna make is going to be taking a Webflow export and cutting it up and building a WordPress theme out of it. And so if you're not subscribed, subscribe and click that bell so you get notified when that video goes live. And I will see you guys in the next one. Welcome to 2022. Thanks.